On today's episode of Fatty's Feast, we are taking a first look at some really cool products I got sent to me from a company called Grillaholics. There's a lot of neat stuff in this box and I'm really excited to take a closer look. So let's get started. Welcome in everyone. My name is Josh. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Fatty's Feast. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome. I love you. Thank you for the continued support. And if you're a new viewer, Welcome in. I'm sure you're going to enjoy your time here with us today. So Grillaholics, if you can't tell by the name, it's a company that makes grilling products for people that are addicted to outdoor cooking, such as myself. They came across my channel and reached out and asked me to take a look at some of their products, review them, show them in some of my episodes, and I said, absolutely, I love products, I love toys, I love all that good stuff. So today's episode is mainly going to be focused on this box and all the neat stuff that we have in here. There's quite a bit of it. They sent me a lot of stuff. And then we'll make a follow-up episode where I'll attempt to put some of these products to the test on my smoker or my griddle or whatever I feel necessary. Now, to give you a little bit of background about this company, they are a US-based company. And I had the chance to have a great conversation with their CEO the other day on the phone. And he told me a little bit of what they're dealing with right now as a company and why they wanted me to review some of these products. Now, when they started off as a small company, they pushed their products on Amazon, you know, the site we all use for everything we ever need in life. However, as time has gone on, two problems have occurred. First, the shipping issues and the supply chain issues that are plaguing small businesses and medium-sized companies alike right now and are raising our prices through the roof that we have to pay as consumers are one of the issues. And the second problem is Amazon does take quite a bit of money from businesses such as Grillaholics to market their products and to use their platform as a place to sell their products, which is something I really didn't think of. So the end goal here is to try to move their products from Amazon to their website in order for people to have a place to buy them where they don't have to pay these enormous fees. And because of the supply chain issues, they're really trying to cut their product line down a little bit and really hone in on the products that their customers love to use and try to build that quality outward. So before we get any further, if you like any of these products that you see today in this video and wanna get some more information on them or purchase them for yourself, I encourage you to check out the description and check out the pinned comment at the top of this video. I put a link to their website that you can check out. And also, I'll let you in on a little secret. If you use Fatties20, that's Fatties20 at checkout, you will receive 20% off your entire purchase. That's a great deal. Who doesn't love discounts? And also because I am an affiliate with Grillaholics, I do receive a small compensation that helps support this channel and will help me in my goal of pushing this channel out to more people and doing more really cool videos for you guys. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of neat stuff jam-packed in this box that I am really excited to look at today. But one of the big things is when I was talking to the CEO, he asked me, what kind of products would you be willing to use in your videos? And because I'm primarily a smoking and griddling channel, and they make things for mostly traditional backyard grilling on a traditional grill, we decided just send me a bunch of stuff and we'll see what I can do with it. So to be honest, there are gonna be products in this box that I may not use on a regular basis, but there may also be products that I can find an alternative use for, or products I can use on a regular basis for my smoker or my griddle. So the first thing I wanna take a look at are these grill brushes. They did send me three of them, and I think on their website they have five different types of grill brushes. First here we have our traditional steel grill brush with these metal pointy things used to scrub your grill. You see these all over the place. Next we have our plastic grill brush, which you know I'm a big fan of. I have something similar to this one. And this one here is really neat in my opinion. This one has these round metal scrapers that are used to really get into the grill grates. And unlike this one, it's, it's all one piece. It's all one rounded thing. So I, I'm curious how this one's gonna work. And you also actually have a scraper which I could use on my griddle top as well. I think that's pretty neat. Now, when I first got my smoker, I did a video on the accessories needed to begin a smoking journey as a pit master, right? And one thing I mentioned is I got a grill brush like this one, okay? You've seen it in other videos, it's plastic. I have very hard feelings about grill brushes like these. I knew someone personally that actually got one of these steel things. I, I don't know the, the technical term, don't, don't yell at me. But she got one of these steel things caught in her uh, intestines 
And of course she didn't know it. She was at a cookout. She ate a burger that had one of these jabbed into it from someone cleaning a grill grate with one of these. And ever since then and seeing what she went through, I like she, she almost died. Okay. So it's a serious problem. And I have been uh, very scared to use anything similar to this. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I don't know if I'll even use it. I, and it's probably fine. I just, maybe I'll test it a little bit. I'm just scared to use it because I saw what she went through and I don't really want to do that same thing. I already have enough health problems, but I really like this one. And of course the, the biggest downfall with something like this is you can't use this on a hot surface. And it's funny because you see Amazon reviews all the time of people using these on a hot grill and they're like, it melted. What a piece of crap. You don't use them on a hot surface. It's not that difficult. So you wait till the grill cools or the smoker cools and you use it to scrub off whatever. So typically on my smoker, I wait until the next day to clean off any gunk or anything on the inside. And I just scrub it down with my current grill brush that I have that has this same makeup. And none of these have fallen off yet and they're much thicker than the metal bristles. That's the word, bristles. They're much thicker than the metal bristles that are uh, on the stainless steel one. This one, I have no clue. I'm gonna try it. I don't know how well it will work on my smoker, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And hopefully I can find someone with a grill and maybe have them try it out and see how this works for them. But this one's neat. And I, I'm a little bit concerned about will these break and start forming like separate bristles over time? I don't know, we'll see. Next up, we have a grill basket. Now, I don't own one of these currently, but I'm really excited to use this. This is great for throwing small items onto your grill or smoker and getting that seared flavor without worrying about them falling through the grate, such as like veggies, or even if you wanted um, small pieces of meat that you're worried about them going through the grate, so you can use this and it'll get that great flavor that you're looking for. So really excited to use this. I'm definitely gonna use this on my smoker. Next up, a heavy duty, stainless steel smoker box. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this because this is used for getting smoke flavor in your grill. So basically you can put some wood chips in here, light them up, let them smolder, and you can get that delicious smoke flavor without uh, you know, spending 20 hours cooking a brisket or whatever. So because I'm already you know, smoking with real wood and I'm getting that smoke flavor, I may use this as an experiment in my smoker to try to light some small pieces of wood up in here, let them smolder, see if I can get any better smoke flavor on my meat. It'll be very interesting. Next up, I love these, stuffed burger press. So this bad boy, I actually had one of these. What is this? We got care and recipe instructions right here. That's cool, neat. So I'm really excited about this product. I used to own one of these and I lost it. It wasn't this particular one, it was from Walmart, but these are really cool. I can't wait to make some stuffed burger patties. Basically to use this, you put this thing in, you put a piece of ground meat in there, and then you take this thing off and you press it down to try to make a cavity. And once you have a cavity with ground meat sort of up here on all sides. You can stuff it with whatever you want. I like to do cheese, bacon, um, you know, vegetables, whatever. And then you throw this back on, lock it into place, and then press it down again after you put another piece of ground meat on top. So you seal it together ultimately, and you get a nice thick ass stuffed burger. Now, when I ultimately make a stuffed burger video, I'm gonna remind you of this again, but do not put raw meat products inside a stuffed burger. For example, you don't wanna stuff a burger with bacon that's not cooked because it's not going to cook inside the stuffed burger. It's only made really for melting stuff. So like cheese is great, it'll melt the cheese down. Veggies are great if you don't want them cooked, um, but like you don't wanna put raw bacon in there because it's not going to cook all the way through and that's dangerous. Next, I don't know how I feel about these, but these are meat claws. Look at that. You could claw someone's face off with this. These are very gimmicky to me, I, to be honest. I have never had the desire to buy these. I've never had the desire to use them. And the reason is they're made for, for shredding meat. So if, if you wanna shred meat for something, like you're gonna make tacos or, I, I, don't, I don't really know. A lot of times advertisements have people shredding pork butts with them or chicken or whatever. That's great. If you're going to eat that entire pork butt right then and there because you have 20 people over, cool. Most of the time, I make a pork butt and have like two or three people over. So I actually cut it and shred it as I go because I wanna keep some of that moisture in. So when I reheat it, it's not a dried piece of pork. So 
I don't know how I'm going to use these. I'll, I'll come up with something. I, I really don't know. Maybe if I'm going to make a soup or something, I'm going to throw a bunch of meat in there. Or I don't know. But th these are cool. Um, Self-defense, I think, would be the best bet. But um, we'll, we'll see what I can use these for. Next up, grill gloves. And this is great because I actually needed a new set of these. These gloves are very neat looking. They're rated for 660 degrees Fahrenheit. And they seem pretty big. I don't know if they're one size fits all or let me look at the box. Doesn't say. Yeah, there's, there's nothing on there. But I did notice on their website, I don't think there's more than one size. So pretty comfortable as I put them on. These will be good for uh, maybe handling meat or working with my fire. I don't really know, but I'm definitely going to give these a try. Definitely on the flat top if I have to, you know, do some kind of weird maneuvers with my spatulas or something that puts my hand close to the heat. But they feel good. They have a nice grip, a little tight around my fingertips, and there's a lot of room around my palm area. So a little tight down here. They don't actually go all the way down to where my fingers split. So I don't know. We'll try them out, but I'm excited to use these. Oh, you all know how much I love my thermometers. Let's check this one out. So this will be like the 20th thermometer I now own. Uh, let's take a first look at this. Obviously, there's no batteries in this, but looks like you got, you can set it just like my Walmart thermometer. You can set it for different kinds of meats you're using. And it looks like there's only one probe. So the probe goes somewhere. Where's the probe go? Oh, this is a wireless thermometer. Sick. It literally, it literally says that right there. Grillaholics remote wireless thermometer. Duh. Now, if I look at the instructions here, it gives all your internal temps for your safe meats being cooked fully. This probe is rated up to 500 degrees and uh, can't go under 32 degrees. That's a little weird. Anything above 572 will damage it. And this can be placed 200 feet. That's sick. That's a long way. So, hey, you know, just like my uh, meat stick that I reviewed in a video a few weeks ago, should be pretty comparable. Once again, it does take batteries just like the meat stick does. And this one also takes batteries as well. It's about the same size as my Thermaworks monitor, um, but it only, like I said, has one probe. Wish it had more than one. One thing I noticed here, there's like gunk along the switches. I don't know what that's all about, but uh, it looks like you can turn it on and off. That's cool. And you have Celsius and Fahrenheit and you have modes. So depending on what kind of meat you're cooking, that's pretty cool. Be interested to give that a try. Okay, we got some grill tools here. Pretty cute. Now, one thing to note as I open these boxes, I am taking some time to take the plastic off. Everything was wrapped with extra plastic along the heads of things and whatnot. And everything has these little instruction things um, to talk about what kind of care you want to use with these products. And they have a little email address if you have any questions from the CEOs, Devin and Katie. So these are your standard typical grill tools. Nothing too, too special. I always love having extra sets of tongs. I love having extra brushes. So that's cool. You have your typical spatula. And I was actually looking for another fork because mine's sort of shot. Um, this other piece right here is in the box. It, it came off, whatever. Now they have two different sets of these. One is extremely more expensive than the other, I noticed. So this is the standard set, but they also have one, uh, I, don't, I don't remember what they call it, their Supreme or professional set that has wooden handles. Uh, they look really cool, but they're much more expensive, believe me. So I can't wait to give these a try. One thing that Devin and I did talk about was seasonings. So he sent me the two seasonings they currently have, which is your SPG, salt, pepper, garlic, your AP seasoning, as some people call it, which is weird. And then they have an SPG twisted that has butter. So this will be great for steaks or anything you want to add a little bit of fat flavor to. And because I am a smoking and griddling channel, seasonings are something that are near and dear to my heart. And what he did tell me was they do plan on making many more seasonings as time goes on. They want to add a lot of different products and a lot of different blends. So right now, these are the two they have available on their website. But coming soon, they will be making an additional amount of seasonings for different kinds of products. I'm very curious what they're going to come out with because I love seasonings. They're delicious. Now, last but not least, they sent me grill mats. You've seen these on TV. You've seen like the copper grill mats and things that give you a great sear without having your food fall through or stick or whatever. But this company is very popular for their grill mats. They have a lot of great reviews. I have never personally used grill mats because I have a Blackstone griddle. But what I want to do is try to use some of these on my smoker 
and see if we can get the same effect, specifically in the firebox where I have that grill grate. Because the grill grate is disgusting. You know, it's, it's rusted, it doesn't look great. And I don't really know if I wanna put raw meat on there. So I'm curious what these grill mats will be able to do. Let's take a closer look at each of these. So first up, we have the original grill mat, it looks like. Also, you can get a free wristband, that's pretty neat. So these feel like paper. I don't know how strong they are. I don't really want to try to rip them, but they seem pretty, uh, pretty papery. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. There's three grill mats in here. Wow, cute. So you have a lot of surface area you can use these on. So on the box, it does say don't bend or crease them. Just roll them up for easy storage. You can cut them to fit the exact size of your grill. So if you want to try to lay them out the entire way, you can cut them. So that's good. They are dishwasher safe and they are made of a safe plastic that allows the juices to stick to your food. And their temperature limit is approximately 500 degrees. So once again, these are the original grill mats. Next up, we have the heavy grill mats. Now this is only a two pack, but it, it feels like, feels like if I put these three together, that's the thickness of this one. So definitely thicker. Now it seems like the only difference between the original and the heavy is these are rated for 600 degrees instead of 500. And these I would be less likely to tear, I think. You don't wanna use sharp utensils on these because you could puncture them, so just keep that in mind. But once again, dishwasher safe, up to 600 degrees, very neat. So these are the ones I'm most interested in. These are the mesh grill mats. Once again, a pack of two. I wanna use these on my smoker for things like bacon or meatballs or something small, maybe even veggies, that I don't wanna have fall through the grates. And I could use the grill basket like we talked about before, but these are really, really neat. They bend easily. I'm sure you could cut these, maybe. These, once again, are rated for 500 degrees. Once again, also dishwasher safe. They feel like very plasticky. They're not like metal or anything like that. They're just, they're interesting. I don't know, we'll try them out. And if you didn't notice by now, they also sent me a t-shirt, which is cool, I like it. But more importantly, this hat. I have been looking for some type of hat to wear for my videos for a long time. Now I could get a Fatty's Feast hat made up or something like that with a Fatty's Feast shirt, which is coming at some point, but I keep wearing golf hats every time I'm out at the griddle or uh, winter hats at this time of year. So for my bald ass head, this is great. So I'm gonna be wearing this hat just to remind you that Grillaholics is a great company to buy from. So that being said, those are their products that they sent me. Really, really good mix of products, and I can't wait to try out most of these in some form. It may be one video I use them on, it may be multiple. Like I said, I sort of gotta sit down and figure out how I want to utilize these products. So it might take me a little bit of time, but we'll see, and at some point I'm gonna demo all of them. Jameson is a big fan of Grillaholics as well. He's been chewing on everything in this box, every individual box, every tool. They love the bristles on the uh, steel grill brush which makes me a little nervous, but it is what it is. All right, you done? You done, look at how big he's getting. Isn't he huge compared to when he was a little kitten? You're such a pain. He doesn't like kisses. Cool, that's, that's awesome. So once again, everyone, if you are interested in any of the products you saw today or wanna get more info or even order some of these products because you just like the way they look and you wanna try them out for yourself, Remember to use the link in the description and in the comments. That'll bring you to the Grillaholics website, which is very user-friendly, and you can place your order there. You can also use the coupon code FATTIES20, excuse, no, FATTIES20, FATTIES20 at checkout. F-A-T-T-Y-S 20, 20% 20 off your entire purchase. I look forward to using these Grillaholics products and I thank you for tuning in to this episode of Fatty Steez. If you found value in today's video, please drop us a like, it's free. It gets our videos out to more people. Leave us a comment because I am bored this time of year and I wanna to talk to you guys. I need some friends in my life and I consider you all friends and family. So until next time everyone, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. 2022, it's here. We're gonna make it a good year and stay tight.